Check it out, guys. Breakfast time for the goals. And the Pelicans. You know why they call them pelicans, right? Because they can catch them fish. Alright, time to go. Oh, flying away into the sunrise. Oh, the sun's already up behind the clouds now. Alright, go on to seagulls. Back All right, guys, need your help. I'm not sure what these birds are. If you guys know, please leave a comment below and let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm using my uh, Sony Handycam today to give y'all better quality video. The only downfall is that it's real hard to do a live dig for you. But I got me a spot right here where there's two signals side by side. So I'm just going to set the camera down and uh, try to dig them to where y'all can watch and see what's going on. Morning. Let's see. First one right here, guys. Got it in one scoop at least. Ah, oh. look at that. Oh, got them all. Little tiny screw, guys. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Good. Find something good? Nah, not today. <laughs> Keep at it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think it's a tent stake, guys. Deep, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, see there? Oh, steak for dinner tonight. There we go, folks. Ten steakage. Oh, good morning, son. Nice of you to join us. Let's see. Now she's out. Time to go to the truck and take off the jacket now. Check it out guys, I swung over it. I guess it's really kind of basically a surface find, right? Let's find out what it is together. Don't make fun of me for making all these noises to bend my fat butt down there. Oh, it's a dime. It's a rosy. Fresh drop rosy. We're back at it. We got some other swinger over here. Well, that's all right. We're gonna find the good stuff. Well, guys, at least we're on some targets here. I'm gonna say that's a quarter. Now there has been some sand ripped off our beach lately. Uh, but definitely, you guys watch it in my other videos, yeah, we're definitely on a quarter there. Uh, I hunt this beach often, it's usually at night, so you guys can't really see what's going on with it. I don't know how well it shows in the camera, but there's a good slope down to the water. 
or I mean, no, it's like good, uh, better than average anyway. This this beach normally is uh, almost flat, so it's nice to see a little slope on it. We're getting some targets. Here's our other swinger. So uh, I'm gonna get back at it and see what we can get. Hopefully, hopefully we get something nice to show you guys. All right, guys. We're getting us some change, so I hadn't been hunted out. Uh, just stopped and talked to the other swinger fella. He's swinging a, uh, I believe a Technetics. I think it's a T2. But uh, he said he's only been in the hobby a few days. It's only like his second time. Said he only found a couple pennies yesterday. So. Uh, Tried to advise him on that swing a little bit, but it didn't seem like he really took the advice. But either way, the important part is he's out here enjoying himself, having fun with the hobby. And I see him picking up the trash and filling in his holes, so kudos to you, fine sir. Alright, back at it. Alright guys, got a strong signal right here. I'm going to try to do a live dig even though this camera makes it tough. Bear with me please. Let's see. Oh, I see it. I see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Uh, I'm zoomed in so far now I can't see it in the viewfinder. Uh, well. uh, I bet you couldn't see it with me being pointing way off over there. Finally, sorry for the torment, guys. Any guesses what it is, guys? If you know what that is, by that rippled edge, let me know down below. Alright. Uh, I know the suspense is killing you guys, so let's see here. I know what it is. I've only found like a million of these things. Oh, shaky, shaky. If you guessed a bottle cap, you are the winner. I mean, there's nothing to win, but you're the winner. All right, back at All right, it, guys. guys. I'm braving the sun so y'all don't have to. Here, actually, let me turn. That's better. All right. Oh, look at that view behind me. Isn't that gorgeous? Those aren't mountains back there. Those are uh, clouds. <laughs> But no, I just want to tell you guys real quick, the reason I gave uh, put up the video that I did, which was yesterday, and uh, I will even be putting this one up, even if I don't find anything, you know, spectacular, is because I want to show folks that, you know, these guys like uh, Ed the Beach Hunter and Michael Oliver, you know, that are always posting these videos, you know, with gold and silver and whatnot, you know, these guys put in work to find that stuff. You know, I hunt with, uh, generally two to three times a week, and I'll spend, you know, two to six hours per hunt. And, you know, it's been two months since I found a gold ring. So you can just imagine how much time these guys are putting in to get out there and put out, put out the videos that have all the awesome finds in it. You know, it's, uh, you know, amazing how much garbage we dig out of the ground. And uh, I'd like to thank all of my fellow detectorists that get out here and help clean up our earth, whether it be, you know, field hunting, beach hunting, underwater. You know, I, I just applaud you guys for taking your trash with you and disposing of it properly, which everybody should do. But uh, we usually get stuck doing it because we're the ones that dig it up. But anyways, thank you. And I wanted to give folks a reality view of metal detecting of what, you know, we generally really find. So I'm going to get back at it, and hopefully I'll find something good to show you guys. But if not, 
I'm still gonna show you all the bad stuff just so you guys realize how hard it is to you know get out here and find something nice. Check it out, guys. Woohoo! Got a crusty pen, yay! Lucky, lucky, guys. Next find was a nickel. I love finding nickels. Look at there, guys. A 35 cent scoop. Now I keep finding change like this. I might have enough to pay for my diesel fuel to get home. Alright, guys. This got me a two hole zinc. Um, guessing. Oh man, that thing's gotta be like Civil War earlier. Yeah, not. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Key West Express. Headed out to uh, Key West, of course. Oh, yeah, that is a big, beautiful cat hole vessel. That thing cooks along. And you could, uh, definitely surf its wake of course they got restaurant bar all the good stuff um, I believe it's a hundred dollars a person to go from Fort Myers Beach down to Key West you stay for a couple days and then uh, they come back and get you not a bad deal really because it's about six hours by car to Key West from Fort Myers and uh, Key West Express gets you there in about four hours in style you get liquored up and a full belly on the way and then get there and party some more all right guys I'm swinging again all right how do you guys like your steak I like mine rare see how this one is Ugh. Uh, uh, it's about medium. All right, back to swinging. All right, guys, somebody burnt that steak. Look at it. That sucker's well done. <laughs> All right, yeah. sorry, guys. Time for a rant. You see, there's like six or eight inch deep hole here. Come on, people. Bury in your tin cans on the beach is disgusting and ridiculous. Take your trash with you. We're all guests on this earth. Um, you know, don't be dirty and trashy. They have trash cans. They have recycling cans. Come on, guys. Take it with you, please. Right, check it out guys this had a really weird like whoa, 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 kind of sound coming from the machine if you look on my GoPro mount bolt there you'll see why it was a little tiny magnet of course the camera's not gonna focus on it but yeah there it is stuck to that bolt little tiny magnet made a really funny sound so I had to investigate alright guys how would you like to be on the beach on vacation and find that with your foot good old crusty hook there that would be a bummer wouldn't it Well guys, I only gritted about half of what I normally do. Started over there by that, those chairs there. I don't know how well you can see my grid lines. But uh, I was in a pretty bad car wreck about a month and a half ago. That's why I haven't been putting out videos for you guys. I've been injured. But, uh, you know, trying to get back into it. I did, you know, maybe half about what I'd normally do. It's just, it's getting to my back, so I gotta call it, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a slow swing back to the truck. If I find anything worth showing you, I'll turn the camera back on. If not, 
Um, I'll see you guys at the house for the wrap up. You know, let you see how much trash I dug out of the beach today. Give y'all a little appreciation for what us detectorists go through. All right, we'll see you at the house if I don't find anything right, good. guys, this is the wrap up video real quick. Um, I said uh, earlier, I just want to show everybody, you know, it's not all gold rings and big fat diamonds when you're a treasure hunter. You know, most of us do the ex do it for the excitement that you can find good stuff, but that is very rare. And um, I know most of you guys that are actually sub, sub to my channel and watch it are fellow detectorists, so you already know. But I'm basically making this video for anybody that tunes in that does not, um, you know, swing a detector can realize it's not all, you know, big fat gold rings. So here you go, guys. Um... We got, you know, you can see several of the uh, tent stakes, well, a few anyway, the pin, some pull tabs, bobby pins, bottle caps. I believe these springs are used on the end of the beach umbrella poles, and they use these to twist it in and get it down deeper to anchor it in the ground. Um, I find those often and they're always a foot deep or more. If you guys know better, please let me know in the comments below. Um, also at my beach, I don't ever go barefoot because I always find fish hooks, nails, screws. You know, um, got a pair of old crusty tweezers and a stainless steel spoon. And then the best finds four dimes, one nickel, two quarters, about five pennies, um, one bling earring, and that's about it. And we got little aluminum rivets. And you other detectorists know, man, these things sound like you just swung over the Sears Tower. They ding like it's a silver dollar. But uh, that's about it, guys. You know, thanks for watching. You know, if you enjoy detecting and getting out there and treasure hunting, or if you're just thinking about it, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, God bless you all, and have a very Merry Christmas.